today on. I'm not going to be talking about that yet. I'm I'm at Arts Day. I'm going to be showing my film off here. Showing my film off here. And not just that, but I'm not just that either. I'm also here to talk. I'm going to have my live vlog here right now. So first of all, it's very a film. Well, with that impressive work, though, obviously the first one to talk about is the other's work over there, which of course the film has a camera person to be doing it, which is about. It's quite impressive, really, but it's one of the bit of Harlow's take on what you think. I know it's, a, I know it's not touch, no, it's the only thing I, that's the only thing I can think of for Vertiscope, I know it's a few other things, but um, it's pretty, pretty impressive. Then we've got Arthur's work over here. Which I'm talking about right now. I don't know what he's talking about. So I'm, I'm sure you know it's very interesting, but in my mind, very complicated indeed. It's it's really really weird because when you watch the animation, it's quite. It's, you don't get the feeling like you get the Pixar films and that, but you get the feeling that you want to leave, but you just don't want to leave. So it's it's like um it's like when you watch a horror film. Or full of film, it's so comfortable, uncomfortable. But you want to stay seated and watch it till the end. And then we got Dom's. Which, the first thing you're thinking of is, has Christmas come early? Well, if it has, then I'm quite haunted by it right now. But um, no, nah, but it's. So I mean, the work is quite. I mean, it's all coloured. It's. I mean, it's all CCTV, which is. A few people have done as well. I'm sure it's quite interesting to watch people walking by and that a lot. But um, other than that, it's I think it's really smartly done. And then we've got the whole one as well, which I've listened to many times before. And I really get freaking out by it. I'm sure it freaks people out too when you watch it. Does it freak you out? I'm sure it does, Mike, but you get freaking out by everything, especially when I ask for losing your time. But no, it's quite impressive because they've done, it's edited that really well. And I'm sure it's, if you're going to have something really scary, one tip, if you're going to put something really scary, put Pierce Morgan in it. That freaks me out anyway. And if you come over here, oh, um, oh. oh Jake, yes. right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what, so what do you think? You, so, what, so what's your film like? That's right. Yeah. What's been the What's been the best film you've seen so far? Wilfs. Wilfs is definitely the best. Oh, uh, Wilfs. Yeah, yeah. Drive, drive, yeah. yeah. Were you doing by Wilf or would you like to be driven by Wilf or not? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if you heard that Wilf, it isn't like to be driven by you. So anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, I think I think it's been quite I think some of the work is quite, you know, done quite well. Some of it if if you watch it you'll think that's been rushed quite badly, it's been quite rushed into it, if you know what I mean. I mean it's like when you like, it's like when someone tells you, oh, like, you've got one day to do your work now, it's like, okay, yeah, here you go, that's it. It's just still some of it, it's a bit like that, but some of it, it's just like, I can't do that. Not even if I, if I had a lot of money, I couldn't do that. <laughs> like your work, Leona, yeah. I couldn't do that. <laughs> we got this work over here, which is on my Ashley. Which really does, which really does feel like, it, I think, if you were happy-go-lucky, you wouldn't be happy-go-lucky anymore after that. But it's a fantastically made film. It's for me one of the best films I've seen here. Yeah. I've never been, been quite new, and that's gone now, so. And then we got, this one here is some family images and that, but love, love images with some nice music. If it was me, it wouldn't be that music at all. With the omen theme too. <laughs> That'll freak people out indeed. I'm more scary than watching the omen itself. But I think it's been my personal opinion is that it's one of the, it's 
this has been quite a good experience. I mean, been quite hard and right here now. We've got we some big steam right now here. And it's, I mean, they use like, it's, it's, it's the film camera they filmed it from. This looks right there. And it's done in, I'm sure, very detailed, but I can't really tell it because I don't know what type of detail it is, but I'm sure it's very interesting. Really, really good. I mean, our one was quite good as well. We had TVs in the beach. We had that. I know I'm not talking about fantasy, but um, <laughs> it's really good. And I'm sure it's very, very good. So, um, so. Um, I mean, that is fantastic how amazing these films are. But they're always still to be done using HD camcorders, so it's done by digitally. Sadly, I don't really use this like the old... Some people might be thinking, that's not creativity, why don't they use the old-fashioned film? Well, the sad thing is, nobody can't use that anymore, because it's, it's, it's in the past now. And... Uh, <coughs> and... It's that type of thing. That, <coughs> it's that type of thing that that people say, well, oh, fashion is still there. No, it's not anymore. Digital sadly is the future. But it can be done like that anyway. And then people say, well, what about 3D? If you said 3D is the future, you are an idiot. 3D was the past. And that was it. 3D is not the future. And if anyone thinks for the years to the future, then well, um, I'm trying to be a bit delicate with my words here, but I'll show a few Piers Morgan videos if that was the case. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, overall, I would say it's been one good experience. If you want to come, come down tomorrow if you want to, or to Saturday or so, <clears throat> and it should be interesting, then you have to see it. If you don't see it, then. Good